I'm so excited that we are back in the studio. It's Thursday with Pastor Steve. Steve, hey, we're doing Sean. it again. You know, it's actually not Thursday. It's it, Thursday to them. It's Sunday to us, but that's right. We edited it and then we turned it into two videos. That's that's true. But um, Steve, you know, you were alluding to this coming Sunday's preaching that you're going to be talking to specifically husbands. And we just got off speaking to wives. But you were breaking down several different aspects of Christian husbands, that there's something specific about the, the breed that is the person that is the Christian husband. You were using words like beneficent. You used terminology like uh, self-sacrificial. Mm -hmm. But what's the big deal? Like, like, are they actually different? And, and the word principled. So mm -hmm. why do I use some words to the husband and not the same words to the wife? Yeah. Because men and women are different. And the Bible addresses them differently. So one of the things in our day is everything has to be equal, egalitarian, uh, equitable, equity, and so on. So whatever you say to a woman, you have to say to a man. Whatever you say to a man, you have to say to a woman. Not so in the Bible. There are gender-specific, differentiated commands. So God says these things to women, and he says those things to men, because we're made differently and we have different mm -hmm. roles. Mm -hmm. But what's the deal is a great question. What's the deal about men need to be beneficent and Principled would be another word to put in there, and self-sacrificing. Well, and we're going to talk about this when we address men. There are different postures a man can take. Uh, one posture a man, a husband can take is he taps out. It's like, man, this is hard work. I'm not even going to try. I'm just mm -hmm. going to play in the garage. Mm -hmm. She can lead this whole thing. I just tap out. So you, apathy. You don't yeah, care. Yeah. They're like, I'm not even going to try. I'm just, I, I wimp out. I tap out. By the way, she will despise him for that. But anyway, mm -hmm. that might come out in the sermon too. Or another posture a man can take is, I'm going to be lordy, lordly. Like, hey, I'm the head of this home. And I, like, mm -hmm. I, I, like a control freak. I met with a guy recently and a bad marriage going on. And he was like, well, I'm the king of my home. It's like, well, I think Jesus Christ is the king of your, your home. home. Yeah, you're not the king. Mm -hmm. Don't start with this king mentality. Yeah. You're not the king. You must serve me. So guys can go there. They can tap out or they can be like, I'm the king. And they become a tyrant and self-centered and she has to serve him and all that. Or another possibility is they can be beneficent and principled. And that means I'm doing the things God tells me to do for the benefit and the blessing and the joy of my wife, my kids, my family. Mm -hmm. So if his, his if his leadership is principled and biblical and wise, a wife ought to say, man, I love it. Yeah. Yeah, because it brings so much that's goodness. That's the kind of husband that you would you would want to have. Yeah. That's I, the biblical husband. Yeah, I sure want to be that husband. So, Sean, I think we're about out of time, but thanks, man. Good yeah. BTS. It's a good time, Steve. See you.